Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqil. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular stipulating the official holiday on the occasion of the New Year 2018, whereby the Kingdom's ministries, directorates and establishments will be on recess on January 1, 2018. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Dhabi Palace a number of royal family members where he discussed with them regional and international affairs. He stated that Bahrain will remain safe because of the wisdom of its leadership, the awareness of its people and the competency of its security and military authorities. His Royal Highness added that the kingdom has faced all challenges with determination through the will of its leadership and people. The Prime Minister continued by saying that national unity and security awareness have foiled all expansionist attempts to destabilize the security and stability of the region. He stated that law overpowers terrorism and that the government will always combat terrorism and drain its sources of funding. His Royal Highness then moved on to note the importance of sports and sporting events in strengthening relations between people. He recalled with appreciation the efforts of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, in hosting the 23rd Gulf Cup, as well as the Kuwaiti government's provision of facilities that led to the success of this major event, which reflects the development of Gulf sports. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, chaired the Council's weekly session. Al Mullah commenced by welcoming the Omani Consultative Assembly Chairman, Khalid bin Hilal al Ma'awali, who attended a part of the session. He added that the guest's visit to Bahrain reflects the keenness of the Omani Consultative Assembly on bolstering parliamentary relations with the Representatives Council in Bahrain. Al Mullah wished the Omani delegation a pleasant stay in the kingdom. The Council approved the proposal amending Item 2 of Article 18 of Decree by Law 48 of 2010 on the Civil Service Law. The Council also approved the proposal to transform the lake located on the southeastern runway behind National Airport to a nature reserve and develop it into a park for citizens and residents. The Council approved the request of parliamentary committees to extend the period for report submission. The Council approved and referred to the Shura Council a draft law ratifying the amended protocol of the agreement between the governments of Bahrain and Thailand on double taxation and the prevention of tax evasion for income taxes. The Ministry of Health signed a memorandum of understanding with the Information and E-Government Authority to commence the implementation of the National Health Survey Project early next year. The project will be conducted on 4,000 Bahraini and non-Bahraini families from all the Kingdom's governorates with the participation of around 40,000 researchers and field supervisors from the Ministry of Health. The survey aims to study and determine the health characteristics of Bahaini society and to determine whether the current health system is achieving its goals as well as to provide a health database that helps decision makers develop health policies and programs that benefit patients. The project is part of the government work program as it will contribute to enhancing the health information system and will determine the kingdom's health priorities.
Good evening and welcome to the business news on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdullah. And starting with the local stocks, as Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,285.34 points, marking a decrease of 7.89 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors. And investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 1.51% of total shares, 120 transactions included, 9,769,154 shares worth 1,197,247 Bahraini dinars. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, in cooperation with the Regional Center for Information and Communication Technology, held today the second edition of e-commerce and Internet Security Forum for Teachers. More on this report with Mohamed Youssef. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, and in cooperation with the Regional Center for Information and Communication Technology, the Ministry organized today the second edition of e-commerce and Internet Security Forum for teachers. The conference sheds light on the practical aspect of the educational institution, which is considered the foundation stone of building an integrated digital society based on the best use of modern technologies, in addition to highlighting the most important risks that the user may face on the Internet and ways of protecting them in order to build confidence to use electronic transactions in a safe manner. Today, the Regional Center for Information and Communication Technology, in collaboration uh, with the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, have launched the second version of e-commerce and internet safety forum for teachers. The aim of this forum is to highlight the safety and security issues related to the internet safety and e-commerce. The target audience are teachers from government and private schools and all the workshops concentrate on the knowledge of um, internet security, uh, e-commerce, which in turn uh, will be transferred to the school community and students. The regional center specializes in the promotion of applied research, education and training in the fields of information technology in cooperation with government bodies and the private sector. The event witnessed the participation of leading technical companies in this field, such as Apple, Samsung and Microsoft, in order to provide the scientific material and the best electronic applications that enable teachers, whom are participating from both public and private schools, to benefit from this experience in order to enhance the skills of the students and lead them to meet the requirements of the local and global markets. The main objective of the, of the event is to uh, make some awareness about the security of the devices in general. My part in this event is uh, to, to highlight on how we use Apple devices in classroom securely with the teachers. So actually it's helping teacher about controlling the classroom and making sure that the devices are uh, being used uh, beneficially in the classroom securely as well. The main idea of this event to talk about the latest technology that the big companies in the world who are leading the technology is doing right now from the security point of view and from how to make surfing the internet in a much safer way. And uh, Samsung, we are uh, a leader in this technology for the last, uh, let us say, five to ten years since we uh, have the most secure platform for the Android devices when it comes to mobility. It is worth noting that the Department of E-Commerce and Information Technology at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is working hard to spread cultural awareness regarding the importance of e-commerce and its various applications, especially with the rapid world technological progress. The 2017 second edition of e-commerce and internet security for teachers spreads cultural awareness on e-commerce and its various applications, how to make transactions in a safe manner, in addition to the best use of modern technology. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef.